lot of folks say they want to be more charitable in the new year, and here's a good way to do that. In New York, we've got an incredible range of opportunities, and Steve Schoenberg is going to show us how you can have an entertaining night out and give to a good cause at the same time. Hello, and hey, happy holidays happy to you, Happy holidays. Steve. Good Thanks. to see you. Good to see you, too. I it, know. It's been a bit. It's been a bit. You know what? People make resolutions more charitable, like mm -hmm. you said, mm -hmm. but they also say they want to go out and enjoy New York more. Right. Why not do both? Here Here's an example for you. Okay. So Broadway supports the Actors Fund. It's been around since the 1800s, and what mm -hmm. they do is they support actors who really are the backbone of Broadway. Of course. Of course. And what they do is, you know, in lean times and tough times, they mm -hmm. support actors with health care, right. job training, even housing when they need it. So mm -hmm. it really helps them. So what happens is Broadway does great performances mm -hmm. um, to support the Actors Fund. So upcoming performances, gentlemen Guide to Love and Murder, which is closing on yeah, January 17th. So you go to Actress Fund, they have tickets that will support them, and you can see the show. Special performances, though, Special certain performances. performances. And something right. rotten, too, right? Something rotten. You know, it's not even a show they're doing that night, Sunday, um, January 24th. Mm -hmm. So they're doing a special performance to benefit the Actress Fund exclusively. Just These guys work so hard, eight shows a week. They're going to do one more just to support the Actress just Fund. Just for the Actress Fund. Yeah. Okay, so you can go online to figure out what, what yeah. those are. And uh, The Secret Garden. Yeah, Whoa. it'll be the 25th anniversary of a hit musical from 1991 that starred wow. Manny Patinkin and Daisy. Wow. Egan. So they're doing a concert version to benefit Make-A-Wish Foundation, starring Daisy's going to come back. She won the Tony Award. She's going to host the show. Mm -hmm. So is Rebecca Luker, who is one of the original cast members, and a whole cast of fans from Broadway. But I got some bad news, good news. Uh-oh. We found out late last night the show sold out. So oh. hence my uh, maybe a little bloodshot eyes. Very late last <laughs> night, I worked with the producers to find four more tickets that we're going to give away uh, for $250 each for the 25th anniversary, all to support. Make-A-Wish Foundation on January 17th. All that information is sent on centeronthealisle.com. That's awesome. And on my Twitter feed. So you know what? What a great way to get these tickets to a show that's already sold out. That is fantastic. What's your Twitter? It's Hannah? center with C-N-T-R on the aisle. That's what I okay. thought. It was special spelling. Okay. Let's talk Let's about, yeah, Broadway Inspirational Voices. This is an amazing gospel-style choir mm -hmm. made up of Broadway stars. And what they do is they do outreach programs that they raise through concerts, but also they go out in the community and bring music to kids. kids. Everything from kids in the hospital, they create music with them, kids who have pediatric cancer, mm. to going to schools that, you know, music funds have been cut. Um, so they have an upcoming concert on February 15th mm -hmm. starring Broadway stars Telly Leung, who people know from Glee. Billy Porter. Billy Porter, who won the Tony for I love her. One for Kinky Boots um, and Adam Pascal, who people know was so famous for one of the original roles okay. in Rent. That's going to be fantastic. And Broadway's yeah. always done so much for, for people who are less fortunate, especially kids, right. and, yeah. and introducing them and, and keeping them involved that's in theater. So that's a good thing. It's inspirational to its name. Yeah. It is. It is indeed. Yeah. And our, uh, finally, if we have uh, Pure Motion, yeah. BroadwayCares.org. You know, Broadway Care since 1988 has raised $250 million to help people who are living with HIV AIDS. But also since then, they've been going out to new causes through the Phyllis Newman Women's Health Initiative mm -hmm. and also the Al Hirschfeld Free Health Clinic. Um, it really helps people who are in need through great thing like Broadway. So they have performances throughout the year. One that's coming up uh, is Ray Mercer on February 29th. He's a famous choreographer and dancer. Mm -hmm. He's been in Lion King for 13 years. 13 years. He's worked with celebrities like Rod Stewart and Aretha Franklin. And he's known for really thought-provoking and inspirational dance. Uh, and this is going to be a performance that he's doing special to benefit Broadway Cares Equity Fight Aids. Awesome. Uh, all good causes, Steve. Thank you right. so much for bringing them to our attention. And once again, the website where people can find this information? Uh, Centeronthealisle.com. C-E-N. So that's my Twitter, C-N-T-R, -N on the aisle, or my website, okay. centeronthealisle.com. Center, spelled just like it sounds. That's right. All right. Steve, thank you so much, and a, know, a, a great New Year to you Happy and all New our friends on Broadway. You. Thank you so much. And, Carrie, we're going to take it over to you. Very good. That sounds fantastic.